As someone who was born in Baltimore and grew up a diehard Orioles fan, it was a huge thrill for me to interview the Earl of Baltimore, Earl Weaver. Longtime manager of the Orioles. I actually interviewed him several times uh, during the course of my career, but I came across this interview from 1992 with Earl, and uh, I was working for WFLA Radio in Tampa. I would drive down to Sarasota to the Orioles training camp quite often, and on this particular occasion, Earl was down there visiting. He had been out of the game for about five, maybe six years at this point and uh, what I like about this interview was since he had been out of the game he was more relaxed maybe let his guard down a little bit uh, like most good managers when he was active he was very defensive of his players and sometimes Earl could be a little feisty in interviews <laughs> but this one was very enjoyable um, he shows an obvious admiration of uh, Orioles icon Brooks Robinson um, also for the fans of Baltimore and he was funny. Um, drawback to this interview is, I, I don't remember the exact details of this day, but I seem to recall that we were doing this interview in a dugout with filled with lots of people, and they were all talking quite loudly, um, and they were echoing in the dugout. So I did my best to try to clean up the uh, audio on this, but you still might want to uh, crank the volume a little bit. So without further ado, the Earl of Baltimore, Earl Weaver. Does any one moment uh, stand out for you uh, in Memorial Day? Well, there are so many, you know. Uh, naturally, winning a World Series is going to be number one. But uh, when Brooksy was right at the end of his career, and I can't remember what it was, uh, it wasn't starting every day. But I remember him coming off the bench. Uh, late, we were in a uh, 12 or 13 inning game. I called Brooks off the bench, went to 3 and 2 with LaRoche pitching. We were down two runs with men on first and second. Brooks fouled off about four or five pitches and hit a home run for us. And uh, we didn't have many people in the stands on the 12th or 13th inning. There probably were 20,000 left, but they stood up and uh, gave them the standing ovation. It lasted some 20 minutes, and it was just fantastic. You know, I remember so many things, uh, having grown up in Baltimore, that uh, I remember one time you left Mark Belanger in late in the game, and he wound up hitting a home run. Is there one uh, managerial move that stands out for you that you made that, uh, that worked well? Not not really. Let me tell you about managerial moves. Uh, moves. Uh, you can do everything right, put in the right pitcher, put in the right pinch hitter, but if the player himself doesn't come through for you, then the move just doesn't count. So, uh, yes, we were fortunate to have uh, many times the right man in the right spot. And, uh, as a manager, you have to appreciate how they did come through in the tight spots for you because that's what makes a manager look good. You also uh, had one or two occasions where you argued with an umpire out there, uh, does one of those stand out, uh, one of those confrontations stand out? Nothing is ever going to stand out. I had some uh, over 90 ejections in the major leagues over a 17-year period, less than six a year is what it boils down to, but each and every time I went out there, I was irate figuring that either a player, myself, or our ball club had been wrong. And you try to get the situation right, possibly uh, retrospect and thinking back. Uh, I always tried to get the last word in, which wasn't possible. Uh, so uh, you got to figure that uh, a manager's job uh, is only on the number of games he wins. That's the only way that he can keep his job. So uh, after that, uh, umpires were just a necessary evil in the game. You, you couldn't play it without them. And you appreciate it when a call went in your favor, but certainly uh, became irate when they won against you. One last question, Earl. Uh, will you miss Memorial Stadium? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, I've, I've got my memories. I, I have a happy lifestyle now. I'm doing exactly what I want. I don't know how many years you got left on this earth, but I don't think that any of us should work right up till the time that we have to leave it. So uh, I'm enjoying myself tremendously.